So recently I had a conversation with a photographer who told me they used their shirt to clean their camera sensor. Naturally, I told them to never do that again and I showed them how to properly clean their camera sensor. And I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys as well. Now I've seen a lot of people talk about how they are scared to clean their camera sensor because they are worried about damaging their sensor. It's not as scary as you think and it's actually super quick and super easy to do. I know I have a lot of people who watch my videos who are fairly new to photography and maybe bought a Sony a7C as their first camera. This tutorial can apply to any Sony or any mirrorless camera, not just the Sony a7C. I'm sure a lot of this is common knowledge, but the reason you want to clean your sensor is so you don't have a bunch of dust on your sensor, which can show up in photos and video. It's easier to fix the dust spots in photos in Photoshop or Lightroom, but for video, there's not really much you can do about it, so you want to prevent as much dust from getting into your sensor as possible. But when you do, you definitely want to clean your sensor as soon as you possibly can. So here I have a simple sensor and lens cleaning kit that I bought on Amazon. I will have a similar one or the same one linked down below. So when you unzip and open the box, you will see a couple different things in here. First, you will see a bag that includes some microfiber cloths as well as some gloves that you can wear. I typically don't wear the gloves. I don't really find it necessary. It also includes another little brush inside, but there are tons of brushes included in this and I rarely use them. You also find a blower in here which can be the quickest tool to remove any dust off of your sensor and the least dangerous. You never want to blow on your sensor, you never want to risk getting any moisture from saliva, so it's good to use this blower to try and remove dust first before you actually wipe the sensor. You will also find the spray and the sensor wiper stick things, I don't know what you actually would call them, but let me show you how you use them. The first thing I always do before I clean my sensor is I go into the camera settings and activate the cleaning mode. I hold the camera upside down, it will shake the sensor and get off any loose dust that may be sitting on the sensor. Now if that doesn't work, next I will take the blower and I will hold the camera upside down still and try and blow any dust out. Holding the camera upside down will make sure that any dust falls rather than going into the corners of your sensor or anywhere else on your camera. The next thing you want to do is to spray both sides of the sensor wiper. Since these wipes do not cover the full extent of the sensor, you're going to do two strokes to clean your sensor and that's it. Choose whatever side of the sensor wipe and you are going to do one stripe across Then you are going to flip it over and do one stroke across the bottom half of the sensor. Now when you do these strokes, make sure you do not apply very much pressure to the sensor. You, they want to be very light, just gently grazed across. You don't want to apply any pressure that would risk damaging the sensor. Take a good look at your sensor to make sure there's no more dust. If you need to, maybe go over it with the blower one more time just to make sure it is good. And you are all set to put your lens back on your camera and get back to shooting. And it is literally that simple and easy to do. So there we go. If you followed everything I did, it's actually really hard to damage your sensor. I hope I could help you guys out and maybe defeat the stigma that it's actually really scary or hard to clean your sensor or that you need to take it somewhere to get professionally cleaned. So gone are the days that you need to take your DSLR to a camera shop or somewhere to professionally get it cleaned. You can do it at home. Trust me, it is easy and you can do it too. So I recommend going on Amazon and picking up one of these sensor cleaning kits. They're about 20 bucks, give or take, maybe a little bit cheaper, but it will last you a long time. I've had this for about two years now and I have not gone through all of the sensor cleaning sticks or anything else. I've actually gone through more filming this video than I have in probably the past year. So thank you for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe to help support me so I can continue growing and reaching a larger audience. And I hope I could help you guys out. So go out and shoot.